This <laughs> is Shed Talks. Yay! Welcome to The Daily Show with Bradley and David, your go-to for all things dating, relationships, and everything in between. Look at David. Obviously, us both being gay men. Yeah. If you could go back to your younger self and say something, what, what would you say regarding relationship advice or anything? What would you say? I'd say you're going to go through a bit of a sh time at school. Yeah. I definitely held back who I was as a person, especially in school with the bullying, the being gay. I was scared I was a kid. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I was, I, was, nice. I was scared to be who I, who I truly was. But now I'm here, I'm queer. And get used to it, bitch. And I'm slaying <laughs> day in, day out. Um, Quite good. It's good, yeah. Potentially, when they loosen up and, yeah, yeah. Be, and stop eating those sweets. Being gay is sick. Being gay is slay. Like, seriously, if you're not gay, you're not slay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that being said, this has been The Daily Show with me, Bradley Richards. And me, Tea Pie. Where we spill the tea, the, the toasty tea, 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 and, and nothing, nothing but the tea. tea. Welcome back to Boomers versus Zoomers, where life's seasons veterans and freshly faced trailblazers go head to head in a series of lively debates to find out who had it better, who knows best. The first topic that I want us to discuss this afternoon is, should we bring back the national service for our lazy generation? Now, firstly, can you just give me a brief, what is the national service? What is the national service? You can start with that one. You tell me. Yeah. I don't even know what the national service is. Well, national service. National service is about you doing for your country. That is national service. Are we talking Army, Navy? Yes, okay. yes. I, I had that when I was a kid. Yeah. I, I was a member oh. of the National Fusiliers. A big thing on this discussion is it calls our generation the lazy generation. What do you think about that? Yeah. Calls them, they need to get away from their phones and their laptops. Everybody just looking at phones, looking at laptops. They're lazy. Louis, don't be speaking. Louis, don't be speaking. <laughs> <laughs> You either love your country and you defend your country, or you don't. That's the way I feel about it. What do you think? You see, this one it would be a, a little bit more difficult for me to answer because this touches an actual oh, situation. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. Really. And when it happened, uh, 24th of February 2022. 22. This is when Russia invaded um, yeah. Ukraine. Ukraine. I just remember my first instinct, it was to Forget everything, go for it. Go, go back. Wow. And knowing like you will have, you're not coming back. And um, then I, I started speaking to my mom and to my loved ones. And my choice in that case was, I will try to do as much as I can from where I was. Yeah. So I started doing all the charity works. I started going on TV shows, raising as much awareness. money. Awareness as much money. I was uh, raising for diabetics in my country uh, because the kids also didn't have any equipment for all of that. But I, I, still, I still get messages today, which like, uh, I just post anything about Strictly and they... You get hate. They, yeah, they, they, the only reply which I get is, go back home and fight for your country. Wow, I didn't even know that. I think your argument and your reasoning of you knowing and being socially aware that you can offer more from here with the position that you're yeah. in and the career that you've built for yourself, you have a platform, you can raise awareness. So bringing back the national service for the lazy generation, our generation, I would say that I don't think there's a place for it. Hello and welcome to another edition of Shed Talks. I want to kick it off with this first statement. Women concentrate on being attractive because we believe that attractiveness equals more success. I do feel like being more attractive does help you. That's why we change our teeth. That's why we add makeup. That's why we get straighter but hair. But do we do that for them or us? Because I do it, do it because for myself. We well, you do it for yourself, but then it does help you in the industry because how you look, if you're on camera every day and people are seeing you, you do get more jobs. I noticed, like for instance, my teeth. I had a bigger gap than what I have now. I closed in my gap, I got more TV work. That is wow. crazy. Did Isn't, you see the difference straight away? I saw straight the away. difference straight away. I lost 80 pounds two years ago and I started getting more roles. Wow. wow. How do you know if you're changing things for yourself or changing things for 
other people or what society says is beautiful. Like within like black culture, big bums are a thing. To black men, I'm very small. Like it's like, oh, you're so small. Like I've had I've had guys offer to pay for BBLs for me. Whoa. Like I've, I've had guys say no. to me, I've had guys say to no. me, you would be a solid nine if I if you just got your Those body guys done. Can go wow. to hell. Not you. with them legs. I want them legs myself. Zizi's good, isn't she? She's very Zizi good. Zizi is just yeah, yeah. outstanding. Is this all to do with sex? It's all yes, to look yes. with. Am I am I attractive yes. enough? Yes. And then oh, we're going to have sex, well, hang on, you're not shaved enough, well, you're not this. I hate that. <laughs> a young friend of mine told me, I said to him, you're lucky to be there. Right. Yes, right. Get in there. Yeah, go on, Fern. Go, Queen. It's a full woman's hour, isn't it? It's they're, fantastic. They've it's fully honestly, gone in. Oh, it's one of the best podcasts that I've heard. So I've seen this guy, and he was about to get, you know, a little bit intimate, you know what I mean? How's your father? As, as, uh, how's your father? And he was like, <laughs> he was like, I said to him, oh, by the way, just like to give him a pre-warning, the maintenance down there is not, it's a bit longer <laughs> than normal, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then he was like, oh, really? And I was just like, babe, have you seen the state of yours? He had long hair there. Yeah, and I was like, how dare you? Tell about me. my long hair when I could K row yours, mate. Oh, I could put in a French I'm braid. I'm in a ponytail. Well, hang on. Can I just throw something else in here sure. as well? Where's the love? Where's, yeah. the, where's the relationship? Yeah. Fern, that is a brilliant segue because the dynamics of relationships are changing. Mm. Does anyone think? that open relationships can work Ooh. in the current climate. I'm not a very jealous person anyway. I've been in an open relationship before. Oh, what was that like? I was in an open relationship because we were very long distance. It was very hard because the rules are hard. What are the rules? Jesus. You have to speak. What were the rules? Well, yeah, so the rules. sometimes your rules can be don't ask, don't tell, like, or you can have it where they tell you before they Ooh, feel I want to know that. Could you have an open relationship now with your current partner? No. Okay, well, you love no, him because I love him more. What do you guys well, think of a, of, a, of a threesome? Because I'm really not, I'm against that. Sh I genuinely, as somebody that is into women and men, I always say that um, I would love to have two threesomes a year. One for my birthday and then one for his birthday. Ah. But do you see that's open? No, because I, I can't share. I don't want you to be, if we have a threesome where they're collectively, it's a oh, you want everybody effort. to be together. It's a group effort. <laughs> it's not a conversation for Fern. <laughs> it's been absolutely amazing. I've enjoyed this conversation and I think there's some gems that everybody can get from this. Thank you for joining the Shed Talk. Thank you for having us. Amazing.